Many of us have heard of PTSD, post-traumatic stress disorder, which can be defined as a mental or behavioral disorder that develops from experiencing trauma. And it can play out, as we know, in a number of ways, as many folks have come to understand, because many of us have experienced at least one or more traumatic experiences in our lifetimes that results in us having, you know, regular disturbing thoughts, feelings, or dreams. And these things can happen whenever we're triggered by something that's going on in the moment or in the present. But the experience is so real that it takes us all the way there. It takes us all the way back there, right back there to the time when the traumatic thing or the event was actually happening. And, you know, it can be so real that we can't distinguish in those moments between what's real right now and what's in the past. And it can be as if we're living through whatever occurred all over again, totally dissociated uh, from the present moment. So for those folks living with PTSD, it can be debilitating at times, especially if the person is not self-aware um, enough to really realize what's happening and to seek help. And it can cause things like panic attacks and sleepless nights that feel endless. I know I've experienced that myself. And, and it can cause also a whole host of other problems that can seriously impact our, our daily well-being. I mean, it's no joke. And because so many of us have experienced trauma in our lives, a lot of folks have heard of PTSD and it's very common, as you know, and maybe more than most folks think. But a lot less common is PTG, um, post-traumatic growth. And when I say it's less common, I don't mean to say that it in itself is less common, but you don't hear as many people talking about it in popular culture. But I do think it's a it's a pretty common occurrence. So this is when you get to the point in your process where you start to become more resilient. It's when you experience personal growth after moving through a traumatic situation or experience. It's when you start to grow, what I like to say, muscles around your emotions and you experience more of an ability to learn from it. It's when you can see the opportunity for growth from something that's hard, like that old saying, uh, what doesn't kill you makes you stronger, right? That may be an old saying, and some may see it as a platitude, but I would contend from my own personal experience that there can be some truth to that. I mean, that can be very true for many folks. When we really think hard about it, we can all probably think of someone we know who went through a negative experience that was highly traumatic. It could have been a great loss or a serious illness. And it triggered for them a greater appreciation for life. Now, before you, you know, some of you might get upset. I know it's true that it's not something that usually happens overnight. And it can take years. It can take some time for someone to get far enough from the actual event that caused the trauma so that they can begin to regain a different perspective. But I would say with time and patience and mindful awareness, we can get there. And as somebody who, like I said, has experienced more trauma um, than I'd like to you know, be the case, I truly, truly appreciate that. And I just want us to be talking about that because it gives me hope that despite what we've experienced, there are endless possibilities to continue to learn and grow and to have a better experience as a result.